Tonight, I'm in one of the coolest cities in the U.S., New Orleans. Now, something I love about this town is that it's packed with amazing food and nightlife. And off the beaten path in a neighborhood called Marigny is local hotspot, Mimi's. What Mimi's is all about, basically, is it's a neighborhood hangout. Like, you see a lot of what they call corner bars in New Orleans, where it'll be just where two streets meet, kind of a destination. You know, people come in late night, I serve food till 2 a.m. during the week and 4 a.m. on weekends. I'm about to meet with Chef Heathcliff Haley, and um, I'm gonna head down to meet his produce guy and do a late night veggie run. So is this how you start your night off? Uh, yeah, pretty much Ryan brings me something new every day and just, you know, whatever's coming up out of the ground. I, I have a vague idea of what he may be bringing. Sweet Valentine and arugula. These look pretty light. I can help with these. Right? <laughs> the greens there. Right lots on, right on. Yeah, lots of greens. That time of year, you know? So, from my understanding, when it comes to food, it's all about trust with you. Right. Now, yeah, yeah. what exactly does that mean? So I don't know exactly what I'm going to do with everything at any given moment until that little ticket printer starts printing up and someone orders to trust me. Then I start trying to just design something on the fly for them to eat and enjoy, you know, and hopefully have fun with it, you know, because it's about making memories with food. A trust me dish is where the customer leaves their order up to the total discretion of the chef. They have no idea what it's going to be. Before we get started, I have to let you know my friend Brian is coming to meet me for dinner tonight, so he will need a trust me meal as well. All right. So he's going to have to trust me. That's right. And yeah, I'll that's... trust you. Right, good, yeah, just a little, exactly. <laughs> a little yeah. circle. Yeah, yeah, a little train there, a train of trust. I think it's really spontaneous and it's fun. It's like living on the edge a little bit. So what's the key to earning someone's trust? They don't have much of a choice. I'm the only one cooking. I got these beautiful little oysters down there. I had some for lunch today. It was really turned on. I'd love so to eat can... oysters. You were really turned on? I was, of course. Oh, it's an aphrodisiac. Right, yeah, indeed. <laughs> <laughs> right. So we do some of Ryan's arugula with that. And we would do like a little reverse engineered oysters Rockefeller with some absinthe and a lot wow. of garlic and manchego cheese. And, that you know, sounds yeah. delicious. Now put it on the, put it on the plane. <laughs> now that's a fire. And the flames just went poof. So this is the fun part now. Okay. You get to play with the blowtorch. Oh. You just keep it moving constantly, like oh. you know, like an iron. You don't want it to sit still. Okay. It's sort of like creme brulee. Give them a little bit of crust to break into, you know? Nice. I can't believe you just made this, like off the top of your head, and so quick. Too. Right, just, yeah, just, I mean, just make it sexy. That's all I gotta do, throw the ingredients together yeah. until it's delicious. You can take your gloves off now. Oh, yeah, I can't <laughs> walk out there to meet Brian with my gloves right. off. It might be a bit intimidating. You'll definitely clean this plate hey. Such a dork. Brian Batt is an amazing actor. He's been in Mad Men, and recently he was in 12 Years a Slave. He is actually from New Orleans, and he's gonna come meet me and be my trust dish guinea pig. I'm kinda lucky tonight. I don't know what I'm going to be eating, and I'm just trusting. Brian, hi. Hi, Brian, how are you doing? Good, so I've been in the kitchen. I'm not gonna tell you what's in oh, it. Oh yeah, the checks in the mail dish, right? <laughs> okay, can I just take a little bite and Try see what it, it is? I'm gonna try yeah. it. Oh, it looks like there's some vegetables. Not everyone loves oysters. I'm just crossing my fingers that he loves this dish. I got an oyster and I love oysters. This is great. Amazing, because I wasn't sure if you loved oysters or not. So that was my only concern. So now I'm safe. There are so few foods Whew. that I don't like. This is just so typical of New Orleans. This great little nugget hidden somewhere that not everybody knows about. New Orleans is very famous for its cuisine, its music, its architecture. I love like walking through the French Quarter at dusk have a little cocktail and yeah. just looking at all the great different colors and all the architecture uh -huh. and you know taking it all in and just when you have nothing to do I like playing get lost in my own city. Brian is amazing we had such a great time I love hearing Brian talk about his hometown everything about Mimi's is so great the food was amazing the vibe was really cool it was just a really fun night it's definitely my kind of place. Cheers to trust. Cheers to trust <laughs> and great chefs. <laughs> 